What is your bike turning radius? Are you afraid to lean your bike? It's probably because you don't know your turning radius. So this is what we're going to discuss today. Everybody, happy to be back in the parking lot today to bring you this video. In this video, we're going to talk about learning your bike turning radius. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And like I say, we're going to talk about learning your bike turning radius. I want to do this subject because I still see riders afraid to do U-turns. And one of the reasons they're afraid to do U-turns is because, one, they do not know their bike turning radius. Two, they are scared to lean their bike for fear of falling. But I'm going to tell you, once you know your bike turning radius, it becomes a lot easier to make that decision out on the road to make that U-turn. Now, turning radius is totally different than your bike lean angle. So I got Big Easy out here today. We're going to ride Big Easy. That's my big gold wing. I already know the turning radius on my bike. This drill or this particular exercise should be done with every rider and it can be done on any bike all bike turning radius are different but once you learn your bike turning radius you will not be fearing whether you need to make a u-turn so i'm going to do two different demonstrations one's going to be in this wide lot here which is 30 feet and then i'm gonna go over to the 20 foot lot and show you what my bike turning radius is and what i need to do it will determine whether you need to lean your bike or you can make a U-turn riding straight up. I've seen people say, in order to make a U-turn, you must lean your bike. True, but not in all cases. You only have to do this one time, one time with any bike that you own. Because if you own different bikes, turning radius are different. And I'm telling you, this will take you less than 15 seconds, 30 at the max, but you only need to do it once. Okay, now that I'm all geared up, let me explain what we're going to do for you to get your bike turning radius. What we're going to do is, now when it comes to slow riding, everything remains the same. This is one of the time we're going to duck walk. Now you can do this two ways. You can do this on the bike, like I'm going to be doing it, or you can be doing it off the bike. Depending on the type of bike you have and how heavy it is. I choose not to do mine off the bike because it's a heavy bike. And I know the gold wing. I know my bike tight and turning radius already. And I know it's not as tight as some bikes where we had people in parking practice, parking lot practice, and they could not make the 24 foot U turn until we done the turning radius drill. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to lock our handlebars. You can do it to right or to left, it doesn't matter. Now, this is not about locking handlebars during U turn. You don't have to lock your handlebars during U turn. In fact, you don't even have to scrape your peg, contrary to popular belief. They're fun to do because the more you lock your handlebars and the more you lean, the tighter your turn is going to be. But this is about learning your bike turning radius so you will know when to do those things. We're going to lock out a handlebar and we're going to ride in a friction zone. But depending on your bike, the one thing I would not be doing is using my throttle. The next thing is the number one rule in motorcycling and we all know what it is look where you want to go you're going to turn your head all the way back to the direction that you want to go to do this drill and for me that's behind me so i'm going to set the bike up i'm going to do it coming toward the camera first and then i'm going to do it going the opposite direction as you can see and the only thing we're going to be doing is duck walking our bike around extremely extremely slow the reason is the faster you go the wider your arc going to be and if you happen to lean, which is the most important part of this exercise, is bike straight up. No leaning. This is why I choose to do it on my bike. And if you have a bike, you can do it off your bike. You can walk it around also. But the handlebars must remain locked. So what I'm going to do is go start from this side, do it facing the camera, end up that way, the opposite direction. Then I'm going to do it from the opposite direction, facing the camera. And then I'm going to do it in a 20-foot street also this here right here is 30 feet here we go okay i hope he's picking it up from that far i just want to get right on this line or just inside the line 
And here we go. We're gonna go through it step by step. First, I am in first gear. My handlebars are locked. Just like you on the street, I always tell people practice like you intend on riding. But today, we're gonna duck walk. We, you know, we're not gonna duck walk when you're doing a U-turn, but we're gonna duck walk now so you can actually do this and learn your bike turning radius. So, handlebars in full lock. I'm checking my mirror, nothing coming from the rear, nothing coming from the front. Checking the mirror again before I make this U-turn. And all I'm gonna do is let the friction zone out. Get into the friction zone and go slow as possible. Real slow. Now, the key to this, like I said, is keep the bike straight up and down. No leaning, because if you lean in, it's gonna be sharper and you're not gonna have your true turning radius on your bike. So here I go, I'm gonna go slow. Duck walking around, making sure my bike stands straight up. And remember, this street and this parking lot, or shall I say this lane in this parking lot, is 30 feet. I got it locked, I'm going straight as possible. I am not touching that front brake. As a matter of fact, I am not even throttling the bike. And once I get in the position of a full U-turn, I can stop. Now, let me show you guys something. Look how much feet I have left. So that's telling me that one, two, three, four, point five, that's paces. This is a 30 foot street and look like I have maybe eight feet left to go. Now that's telling me when I'm making that U-turn, I really don't have to leave my bike. But one thing you need to remember is this. You're gonna be going a lot faster than duck walking your bike. But you only need to do this drill once. So now I'm just gonna do it rolling and see if can I keep my bike straight up and make that U-turn. Remember, the faster I go, the wider my arc gonna be. So most likely, I'm not gonna end up here. If I could keep my bike straight up and lock my handlebars, yeah, I probably would end up here. But like I say, there's no need to lock the handlebar. But prior to that, I'm gonna do it one more time from here after this train pass. <laughs> from the opposite direction. So I'm gonna do it the opposite directions so you can see the exact same drill. And like I said, you, you only need to do this drill once. I'm just doing it the opposite direction so you can see. Okay, right on the edge. Same thing as if I was riding in the street. My mirrors are clear, no traffic coming ahead of me. I practice like I intend on riding, except I'm not gonna duck walk when I'm in the street. Wheel is full locked. Okay, I'm looking exactly where I wanna go, which is th that side. Going into the friction zone, walking, keeping my bike straight up as possible. My head is still turned, there's no need to look back. I'm not using any throttle, not touching the front brake and i'm walking and i'm almost to the u-turn and it looks like for me the results are the same i'm facing forward straighten my wheel out stop look like the results are the same let me go take a look look at this so i know that i can make this u-turn on my bike without leaning without fear leaning or just with very little lean. So I'm gonna do it at a speed, not fast, just enough to do it without leaning. So here we go, coming around right here. It's a big U-turn on the street, 30 feet. Let me stop and talk for a second. I wanna check and make sure I don't identify where I wanna make the U-turn. No cars in front, checking my mirrors, no cars coming from behind. This is a fairly big street. I'm afraid to lean so I don't want lead so I'm just see can I make that U-turn without leading. Of course I'm going to turn my, my wheel a little bit, my handlebars a little bit. I just lean just a little bit just now. Now as you can see I made the U-turn with no problem without leading. It is just that simple. So now let's do this. Let's go over to the 20 foot lot and do the same drill or oh, it might be 22 foot. Maybe I have to remeasure it. I'm going to turn the cameras off and turn it back on when we get to the 20-foot location. Okay, now we're in a 20-foot lot right now. 
I measured it. My <laughs> tape measure is still down there to make sure it was actually 20 foot. Now, let me go to see what my bike turning radius is. Can I make a 20 foot U-turn without leading my bike? So let's do this. Go through this real quick. Then we're going to wrap it up. Okay, everything remains the same. I practice like I intend on riding, except I'm not going to duck walk on a U-turn. As I stated before, this is to learn your bike turning radius. Full lock. Identify where I made it, want to make this U-turn. Checking my mirrors. No traffic in front. No traffic behind. Look behind me. Look where I want to go. Now, I want to go directly behind me. So I'm going to look directly behind me. First rule of motorcycle. Look where you want to go. So I'm looking back. Releasing. Going into the friction zone. Right after I put it in first gear. <laughs> going into the friction zone. It is fully locked. Riding straight up. Duck walking straight up. Looking where I want to go. Now, can I make this turn in 20 feet? Can the gold wing make this turn in 20 feet? Now, I know almost every Harley that we've done this on made it within 20 feet. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's see. Yes, 20 feet with a little to spare. I would say probably about 18 and a half, maybe 19 feet. I know I can do this. In here so if i'm riding down the street and i'm coming upon a roadway that's kind of look thin maybe 24 20 feet i know i can make that u-turn but can i make it with the bike riding straight up let's test the theory now you got to remember that the faster you go the larger your arc will be so if i go straight up most likely now i'm, I'm going to try to keep the bike straight up same thing straight up let me get, get to where I want to identify a turn. Look where I want to go straight up. No leaning. Turning my wheel as much as I can without leaning. Now watch this. I'm going to come closer to the camera so you can see it. I did not make it. And why, you would ask, I didn't make it? Go ahead and ask. I don't mind. It's the simple reason I was going faster. And I know my bike turning radius it's 20 feet or under 20 feet so when I'm out of riding on the street and I'm coming to a u-turn if that 20 feet I know I can make it but I would have to leave my bike more let's test that theory so I'm gonna do it coming toward the camera but well, the good thing is, one of the things, like in the 30 feet, I know I really don't have to leave my bike and I can make that U-turn at 30 feet. I can just lean it a little or a lot. Now, this is 20 feet. I know my bike turning radius is 20 feet. I know this. You guys witnessed it. So when I'm riding, I know I have to turn and have to just lean just a little bit. I don't have to touch the ground with my pegs and I don't have to lock my handlebar, but everything remains the same. Quick head look, lean a little bit, and I can make that turn in radius, 20 foot. Does do it again, covering a rear brake, quick head look, lean, and make that 20 foot turning radius. Now, obviously, the more I turn the handlebar, the more I lean the bike, it'll be a lot sharper than 20 foot. But this is not about that. If you're afraid to lean your bike, you just got to get out here and practice. Let me see, can I do it a lot sharper? There we go. One more time. And that is it. So, bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, is go do this one time. Now, obviously, if you had a parking lot with the stripes going, the parking space is going like this. It's easy to do. You don't have to measure anything. We know the spaces are nine feet, two of them are 18, and you can judge it based on that. So one of the things that you really need to do is learn your bike turning radius. I know the V-twins, most all V-twins I know turn tighter than these, but yet people are scared to lean their bike because they don't know the turning radius and they fail to make U-turns even on 30-foot streets. 
So that's all I have for now. Hope you like this video. Hope you like other videos like this. We are back in the parking lot. Going to keep breaking them to you. And if you are riding today, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.